Good evening everybody. I hope you can all see me because the sun is just starting to dip in my studio so it's a little bit of a beautiful sort of twilighty light but hopefully you can all see me in this very beautiful block leotard that I am wearing. Thank you block. Um, I just wanted to talk to you about some port bra positions because one of our speakers, thank you Yanka, was asking questions about how you can really make the correct shapes and use those thoughts to transfer them when you're doing your sleep workouts so that you're not just pushing your arms, plonking them into positions that look like first, second and fifth, but you're actually understanding the shapes behind them and the muscles that we need to use. So starting with bra bar, so I'm just gonna start in the preparatory position, one foot behind for me. Taking the tummy in and drawing the arms so that the thumbs are gently nestling in between the third and second finger is a kind of a good place to aim for. A little bit of length and spring into the elbows, so nothing too jaggedy. And then some space under the armpits. We're making like a frame of our body here in bra bar, bra bar position. We bring it up just opposite the tummy button, maybe a centimetre or two above, and nothing changes. There's that slope from the elbow down to the wrist and the shoulder down to the elbow. And there's our first position. From here, ladies, we're taking second position. I'm going to step the legs wide with the feet as well. This is the tricky one because what wants to happen is the elbows want to drop and we lose that work into the lats and the upper arms. So rounding out as if we're hugging someone. So just imagine two people either side of you and then sloping from the ear to the shoulder, the shoulder down to the elbow, the elbow down to the wrist and the wrist down to the little finger. So a trickle of water would just drip off that little finger. There's our second. Again, just showing you some incorrect alignments here, losing that work into the rib cage, drawing the tailbone under, wrapping the arms around as if we're hugging someone and recorrecting. From here, ladies, taking those arms up to fifth, we're rounding the arms out and again, some length into the elbows without lifting those shoulders, keep them dropped down. Fifth position is framing our face and we're turning the palms gently towards us. Again, the thumbs are still tucked away. Opening back out to second, remember as we do to keep that gentle curve and slope and then down to your bra bar. And then again, the thumbs are tucked away. Again, a bead of sweat or a trickle of water now coming into the palm of your hand. So those are some of the key positions to remember of the upper body when you're using them, we're particularly remembering to keep the shoulders down, the chest wide, and working to draw the lats down to a V point just above our middle waist. That will really give you that beautiful tone and strength into your upper body and really finish off the technique in your sleep workouts. Ladies, enjoy putting that into practice and I will see you all in the live studio or here on YouTube really soon. Take care.